Just change that. Yeah, you were you were saying Richard there to work before we got cut off with battery. Yeah, you want? Yeah, well, basically, you know, the thing is with uh, with boxing, we've got a, a very select period of time to give a stronger representative, stronger representation of yourself than you than, 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 yeah. you, than you can. You can you've yeah. got to give the best represent, representation of yourself that you can. You've only got a select time to do that. Yeah. With regards to what you get up to outside, <laughs> you can't control, as, that, I can't can you? control that. But what, what I can what I can have a say is when you're in here, give me attention, give me 100 percent And that's what the kids do now. It's got to the stage where they know that I'll accept all the standard. And when they do come in here, they're on the ball. I can say to you, Russ, you yeah, know, yeah. shout and then give me yeah, that example. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes you fool. Yeah. But because they know that I've got their best interests at heart, what it does, it just reminds them for that split second they've been shocked. Yeah. Then they get back onto the work and then, and then the they're back into it. They're back yeah. into it, they're grinding, they're getting on with it. And you watch some of the kids in here what's sparring, 12, 13. My, my, my 11 year old is for six few minute rounds. You know, people say, yeah, well, if you want me making kids spar, I didn't say he takes shots for, for six three minute rounds. Mm. As uh, soon as these kids get caught, they're in boxing. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to get brushed. Obviously, they're going to get caught. As soon as I see any type of movement or potentially any type of movement, I will stop, mm -hmm. pause on the clock. Yeah. I go, come here. I go, why didn't you just get hit? Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I go, why do you just get hit? And the smart kids, they'll go, because I didn't pull my head. And I go, okay. And then they go back out. And they, never, they don't get caught with the same shot again. Yeah. Not, not only for that round or yeah. that short time period after they've been caught. Yeah. I'm on about for the rest of the spa. They don't get caught. So I'm teaching them to recognize mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Use those mistakes to grow. Put yourself in an uncomfortable environment put yourself in an uncomfortable position common sense tells you don't put yourself in danger and don't put yourself in an, that uncomfortable position that it's going to keep reflecting and you keep reflecting on you for the rest of your life some people listen to this and go so what, what do you mean by uncomfortable go and stand on a main road do that you daft bastard you're going to get killed what i'm saying to you is put take yourself out of your comfort zone this is what human beings don't realize take yourself out of your comfort zone put yourself in the mix my gym in particular, right? Come in here and you're gonna find it hard. Oh, I don't give I don't give a damn who you are. You're gonna find it difficult. Yeah. And it all depends how long you can last for then. Yeah. All depends how long you can last for. If you last, you'll see the benefits. My friend Dennis, he sent his sent his daughter down here. Jessica Sent Jessica down here. Yeah. So and she's showing immense improvements, but not only physical, mentally. Because so when you're going three times a week? More than three times a week. That's good, then. And she comes here, she graphs and she's same as the other kids. I'll get them round, I'll go, Have you cried before? And all the kids, big and small, they'll go, Yeah. And I'll go, Have I scared you before? Yeah. Do you find it difficult? Yes. Do you see the benefit? Definitely. What did you know? It's there just as she'll go. They said definitely, all the other time they said yes, 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 and they just said definitely. I said, so that emphasises what I'm doing. It emphasises what I'm doing. What it's like do Sergeant what? Major type, isn't it? Well, is that well, you, well the, thing, the thing is... Not what Adam moves like in his gym, because Dave Allen didn't like it when he trained down there, Well, well Dave, Dave's, Dave's one of them type of guys, you know, no disrespect to Dave, I like Dave, but Dave likes to do what come and go as he wants, he likes to get up to what he's doing, he likes to do what he's doing, and understandably, you know, because... It shows in ring, doesn't it, then, doesn't it? that's what I'm going to say to you. So, you've either got cash said to me today because I put him through a grueling leg workout, Russ. Again? Yeah. He and gets done every week, yeah, doesn't it? Every you always do legs on, on Fridays, don't you? On yeah. Fridays, yeah. 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 LCD. I was thinking about this morning, LCD, yeah. yeah. So, Marking it off on calendar. <laughs> oh, Richard. Yeah, well, I've got the calendar in car, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he said to me, he said, uh, he went, that's the most difficult leg circuit I've ever done and he only did three exercises yeah and and, and but you would do it with him don't you as well don't we, yeah, you yeah definitely yeah you know yeah. If, if, I'm, if I'm putting it out to somebody I've got to be, be prepared to at least demonstrate it physically yeah. you know so um, do you know a fighter Richard before the night before he fight before you fight uh, 
Do you ever question yourself if you're ready? Because I've had this conversation with Frotch, but you tell me what you used to do the night before and then... And, and I've saying. actually got a picture of me and Brendan, I'll get the phone to show you. I've got a picture yeah. of me and Brendan in the room before the Lucas Brown fight. Yeah. And I ain't gonna make excuses. Yeah. The better I've won on the night, and I'm not holding on to it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm proud that I had a go, and I'm proud to you share. Were a the world title, didn't it? Yeah, I'm proud to share the ring with, with Lucas Brown and everybody else that stepped in the ring with. But and you were red up then as well, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, we were out. firing on all four cylinders. But to be honest with you, Russ, um, I've always I I understand more than ever now that it's not necessarily um, the account that the person who wins. Yeah. It's not the account that they're, they're giving up themselves. Nine out of ten times, it's the account of the person that's losing. When you see people get knocked out cold, when you see people run out of gas, when you see people get caught where they shouldn't have got caught, you have to understand yeah. what they've got to to get to that position yeah. of that fight. Yeah. They've gone through everything. They've repeated scenarios, repeat, repeat, repeat. Then it's come to the night, and for whatever reason, there's always a reason They've got caught and knocked out, or they've yeah. lost. They've they've, um, they've run out of gas and they've lost. They've hurt their ankle and lost. There's always yeah. a reason. That's one of the things I realise about boxing, and I never I never write anybody off. When I look at you know um, people you know losing fights or people winning fights, I always sit and I think to myself, I, I probably don't think the same as everybody else does, especially not the spectators of this world, mm -hmm. which boxing needs yeah, yeah. equally. Um, I, I don't think the same as now. I'm sat there and I'm thinking, is either cut corners or something's gone wrong? Yeah. And, and I know that's the way it works. So with regards to the mental side of things, that's something that you have to have just as straight as the physical side of things. Mm -hmm. If you've got problems at home, it's it going to affect reflect. you, won't it? Because you affect. can't put effort in, can you? It's, it, you can rust, but what, what it does is it just takes that little piece And you just going through the motion. You're just going through the motions of what you've practiced before, but yeah. your mind's not really where it should be. In boxing, this is what makes boxing so difficult and dangerous. You have to be in that moment. This is why I like the floor to ceiling. Yeah. In order to, if I said to you floor now... Floor to ceiling Russ, ball. Yeah, if yeah. I said to you now, jump on that floor to ceiling ball. Some people can do it. They don't even have to look at it like Floyd Mayweather. You can't oh, go Cal's had yet, they can go up because they've practiced that since they were kids. Nathan Cleverley, he's really good on floor to ceiling. Yeah, Nathan Cleverley, but what, you, what, what the league bully has told you, when they were getting used to that, when anybody goes on that, you have to have a lot of element of focus. You have to be able to focus just on that. And you like being a drummer, where you, you, you step in and, and miss a beat and it, jump it, back I in. I suppose so, yeah. yeah, I suppose so. But what I'm saying to you, Russ, is the same um, yeah. example what you're giving. You have to, it's something that you have to be focused on. Yeah. If you're playing drums, if you're playing the drums and you're playing a, um, a, an instrument or something like that, then you've got to be focused on that thing because you're going to yeah. miss a beat. It's the same in boxing, yeah. but you're going to get knocked out. Yeah. Can I just go and ask Yeah, of course you can, mate. Go ahead. Must be someone trying to get on. Yeah. 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 Polite, isn't it? <laughs> No, but you don't have to apologise, mate. You're all right. It's, uh, could have been important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's when you've got kids, you've got kids. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, getting back to what we were speaking about, that, I remember, uh, I think it was night, night before weigh you know, it might have been night before fight, before yeah. the, obviously, I always revert back to Carl Fox because he more or less got me do, got me doing this. Yeah. Obviously, you know the story about me being 28 stone when he was in camp with Ward and he's saying, yeah. you need to go get that up. And I'm like, yeah, 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 you've been saying it ages. So eventually, I went and got it. You know, after I put probably another stop on. Yeah. But, so I, I picked his brains for years from, from 04, from when he won the British title. I've yeah. always picked his brains and studied him and my own little pet projects and mm -hmm. give him statistics about opponents and that's how I sort of got mates with him. Yeah. And he was saying to me uh, before the Groves fight, he said, oh, I'm all ready and that. What, how do you reckon the fight will go and all that? Do you reckon I'll be all right? Now, I don't know what, and he won't mind me talking about this now he's retired, but he was obviously questioning himself because he went to Ellen back in the first fight, didn't he? Yeah. And that's a fighter's mentality, isn't it? 
the, will it be the same again? Because he yeah. knows what happened, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said that, uh, why am I questioning him? He said, I've got it all in. And he kept saying to me, I've, got, I've done it, it's all in bank. Yeah. I've marked it, this has got a diary, Carl. Yeah. He said, I've marked it all off. I've done a personal best in, like, in every single Everything, thing. Yeah. And we've done like an extra like two or three days. Plus he's seen a sports psychologist and he'd actually lived there nearly all the time. You yeah. know what I mean? On the, on the odd time he had to go, he went home in the 12, he did two weeks on his own, yeah. um, which, which were from home and that, and then he did 12 week up with Robert. And yeah. obviously I seen him at the beginning of his camp and he's like, I've got to go training. Yeah. You know, he did that two week on his own, 12 week at EIS and he was living with, is it Warren Beister? Yeah. Warren, he, he's, right. he was with, I think you were on the top bunk right. with size 12s hanging up and, and frocks were like roughing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, God. But he had to go through all that and a sports psychologist to get through yeah, the groves in that. But he's saying to me, and he's got obviously a million pound house at home, and, you know, other than Nottingham. Yeah. And he's living it rough, but he, in, in Canberra he's saying to me, I've got it, I've done it, it's all done, it's all in bank. But he's saying, how do you think fight or go? I said, well. You should know better than me, you can't have gone alright. And because that's all I could say, and he's yeah. like, yes, yeah, I've gone brilliant. I said, yeah. you got your black gloves? Because he always wore black gloves after the Kesler fight. Right. You know, I've got this thing out about black gloves, whereas, you know, I saw that programme. The naked eye sees a black glove, 0.0 or whatever, yeah, yeah. later than any other colour. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just a natural reaction because they're light. And yeah. The background's always black as well under the floodlight. So yeah, yeah. after that, everybody started wearing black gloves. Right, yeah, but he yeah. had red before then, he'd worn yellow against Damon Egg. Right, and, yeah. you know what I mean? But he's always wore black. And yeah. It's a mental edge, a lot of them say. It's just that mental edge. You're yeah. looking for that little edge, aren't It's like yeah. in jail. Definitely. We call it little victories, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Whereas he is a little bit too well. I'm not going to wear red no more. Mm -hmm. I wear black. Obviously, it didn't work against Andre Ward, but yeah. every, every other fight after that, he, he never lost, did he? Yeah, you yeah know there, what there's, something, there's something behind it all, but you know, one of the things Mental. that I, uh, I, I got into was obviously being involved in boxing. Yeah, go was, uh, little bits of. Uh, uh, Studying, studying different different people and stuff like that. You know, when you think of all the best uh, champions boxing's ever known, like Vladimir, people yeah. like that. So you, you ended up good mates with Vladimir, didn't you? Yeah, they all did the same thing. Ross, every every fighter, yeah. uh, watchers and uh, takes example from fighters what have what have been and gone. You know, yeah, even. Yeah. and uh, there were a story about. I'm sure it was Floyd Patterson. It might have been. Oh, yeah. It might have been Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm yeah. not sure, yeah. but. I'm sure it's Floyd Patterson. Mm. And what he used to do, he used to take a wig, glasses, and his clothes folded up, and he put the meat like in his changing room, put on the on the bench. Why so, so one day somebody said to him, they went, "Why have you, why have you got your uh, stuff there with, with with a wig and stuff like that?" I'm sure he had glasses and everything like yeah. that. So he said, "Oh, um, it's, it's a disguise in case I get embarrassed, and you know." I'm, I, get, I don't want people pulling me up and he goes, I can just get back to the gym, you know, and bomb straight out. When you think about the level of, if it were Floyd Patterson or Sugar Ray Robinson, yeah, yeah. the level of these guys as fighters, yeah. and they were still pre-preparing pre yeah. for an embarrassing loss. I want to just get, get this stuff and get out of here because yeah. I want to save the shame. When you think that that's happening at that level, Brendan used to explain it to me. Brendan had said, Richard, you go, give yourself the best fighting chance that you can have. He goes, if you think about it, Richard, he goes, you've been through hell and back. In jail. Yeah, he goes, you did 26 months in solitary confinement. Yeah, is that what he spoke? Uh -huh. He goes, 26 months in a box. With the door shut, 23 hours of the day. I did that 33, 33, I had 11 months, so if you did, you did more than double, but I did then. And I know what I was like after that. And that's what I'm saying to you, Russ. So, yeah. And Brendan used to say to me, and say, you've been through that, you can get through anything. And he used to say these things to me, I've got a thought. He's sure. right though, isn't he? Yeah, and he'd say, he'd say it to me, but basically what, what his meaning was, was 
don't let these little doubts creep in. Don't let these little worries creep in. They creep into everybody, so it's coming. Oh. He's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. preparing them. All fighters go through it, don't they? All fighters go through something. And then the question is, it's like, for going back to Frost, do you? Yeah. How do you think fight's going to go for OK? I'm like, well, you should know, you've done camp. Mm. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I have, I've, I've done everything. Mm. It, all training is in bank, it all personal best, and yeah. I've seen a sports psychologist yeah. that, oh, I forgot the guy's name. Yeah. I've gone, well, you, you'll knock him out, then he's gone, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's, he, he's still having his doubts, isn't he? You know, lead, in he's fight week and that. He seen, won't be seen a But every fighter's he like that. have it all dro dropped down, oh, but yeah. that's, that's not just him, that's every fighter. But I think, but I think yeah. Richard, uh, regarding that, because Tom dropped him in sparring with 16 ounces, well, Groves, to be fair, came up a week later and, and got stuck into him. Mm -hmm. But he came up with uh, Adam Over at the time. They come late. Mm -hmm. The Frotch had done his, done his training for the day and told him, they know all tricks, don't they? they right. wanted, Adam probably wanted to get that edge back for Groves, but Groves were fearless, weren't they, back, back then? To be honest with you, knowing Adam, yeah. I don't think that that was the case. No. I know Adam, I know Adam yeah. and I know him. I know. just got caught in traffic. <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you, yeah. if you were late, yeah. I was never late. Yeah, if I didn't yeah, yeah. for a very good reason. Well, they did well in the second, you probably heard the, session, the second one, they went up and won the session, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. All the people will say, oh, Robert yeah. McCracken says, oh, he did well in the second one. That is what means that they had better of him, don't, don't yeah. they? Well, what you have to understand as well is if you, people like Bob, Bob Adam Safter, Bob Adam Safter, yeah. me and Bob used to spar, yeah. and Bob used to hit me in face, I couldn't hit him back, I just hit him to yeah. the body or just move and keep out of his way. And I don't really remember Bob landing a glove on me. Yeah. Right? And no disrespect to Bob, Bob and friend. Yeah. But Bob would get into a fight and he would mess people up. Bob would, yeah. you'd, you'd watch Bob on pads and you'd think, has this guy boxed before? Mm. He'd get into a fight, 10 minutes after watching him on that pad work, thinking that. And he, Look at when he fought uh, Dickinson. When he fought Dickens. Yeah, John Lewis Dickinson. John, John, John no, Lewis his Dickinson. brother. Oh, his brother, yeah, yeah. What was his brother's name? Uh, One of Dickens' brothers yeah, anyway, yeah. right? Dickinson. Dickinson brothers, yeah. right? Big soul for that. Him up. And, and Bob were the, what, Bob were the favourite to lose that. Yeah. Bob were the favourite to lose. I remember going into um, Allerton Stadium for Wayne, and Bob's just a cool guy. Bob's a cool cat, dedicated. Come all the way from Leeds to train at Brendan's mm. um, every every single day, twice a day. Then go back, mm. dedicated, forty-five minutes away. So yeah. sorry, one second. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, he's from Leeds, isn't he? Yeah, from Leeds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so then Russ, um, he he went into five. Oh no, this is what we're saying yeah. to you. So that um, Travis Dickinson. Travis Dickinson. That's Travis it. Lewis Dickinson. Travis, that's it. Yeah. So. I walk past him and you know me, Russ, I'm, I'm friendly, but this is what, this is where people, you know, this is human nature for you, innit? Oh, big, big daft, big daft, big soft lad, mm. you know, being friendly and all that. Big friendly giant, yeah, I would take it right, BFG. You That's what you get, tag, you get tagged with that, because if you're polite to people, but you're a big kind scary weak, guy, you think, oh, like he, he's just a big soft lad, yeah, exactly. he's because he's nice and friendly. They expect you to be walking in, fucking ripping, crushing chairs and yeah, yeah, exactly. ripping, ripping exactly. tent building yeah. apart. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah. uh, this uh, Travis uh, yeah. walked in and, and he's like, and I'm like, how you doing man, you alright, good luck today, yeah? And uh, Bob's my friend, but I'm, there's more fighters, yeah, I've got this yeah. equal amount of respect for them as fighters. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and he went, he went, nice one. So, I walked past, as I'm walking away, I heard somebody else, just a little kid, or like 15, 16 year old kid go up to him and go, yes, uh, good luck today. And he just like looked at him and didn't even send off him, didn't even acknowledge him. Bit of a dickhead to be honest with you. Yeah. Bit of an idiot. Seeing yeah. this, yeah, we'll talk about it if you want to talk about it, no problem. Who was this? It's like Travis Dickinson. Travis Dickinson. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, because I don't yeah. like ignorant people. Yeah, well, ignorant too. You were fucking ignorant. So, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you want to talk about it, no problem. Let's have a chat, no yeah. problem. So anyway, <laughs> so, um, he's what you call it, Russ. He's um, he's gone into a fight and got folded by Bob. Did he? Yeah. Like the and, he, and he was nice to see. I've got nothing against Travis. I've got nothing against him, right? But I'm just saying to you, it was a typical success story of act like a dickhead and you get folded. And he got folded. Like Broner against Maidana. Hundred percent. 
100% exactly the same thing. Act like an idiot and got folded. Yeah, got folded. Did the same thing with another fighter as well. Yeah. Like a Broner's 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 one of them guys, isn't he? You know, yeah, like somebody that. else said about him as well. Yeah. Didn't they? I, I, How are you doing a four way world champion at one point? Undefeated. No, 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 don't, don't, no, I promise you this. I promise you this. He could fight, he was dangerous. Yeah. But <laughs> got got went to his head a little bit mm. and started messing about with, with guns. With that AB and, and all this, well, yeah. about millions. Started messing about with your guns and all that and that type of stuff. You know, you, you choose what you what, what you decide to be yeah. and you stick with it. Now nah, that's they're the people what I respect. Yeah. This is why you know going off to not going off the subject. Too yeah, much. yeah, yeah. With regards to going back to Travis Dickinson, he was rude to you, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a little bit. It, no, not rude. He was just dismiss, not necessarily dismissive to me, but a little kid behind me. Yeah. He was dismissive to him, yeah, and, and I didn't. I don't respect that. No. So we got into a fight, and I'm being honest. Bob folded him in half, and I was buzzing because yeah. I thought, act like a knobhead, you get folded in yeah. half, and, and that's what happened. But what I'm trying to say to you is, yeah. is to look at Bob. You'd never think to yourself, this guy's going to be a world beater. I've watched him in sparring with Kel, I've watched him in sparring with Edwin, loads of different people. Yeah. Some dangerous cruiserweights. Yeah. And Bob gives a good account of himself. Yeah. Bob's still on the scene, Bob's still rolling now. And Bob is dangerous. And this is, it just, it meant that was one of the defining moments that yeah. I realised something. You don't necessarily have to show exactly what you can do yeah. it's all about when you get in that ring have you got the tools have you got the minerals have you got all the stuff that you should have accumulated on your path up to being in that ring have you got what it takes to give a good account of yourself in there yeah. so when people look at because all this me and adam often speak about it and uh, when you see all these people doing this you know pitter patter, patter i'm sure there's a guy called the padman and he's, he's, he's doing pretty well, I've heard. I've heard he's, he's earning a few quid from, you know, being... Uh, Ron Reed does pad seminars. I don't know if it's him, though. No, no, it's not him. It's, no. it's some American guy. So he does, oh, the, yeah. he does these pads and he's... Oh, that pitty patty guy who does all that, mate. Right? And he's going... Pop, 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 pop. Roger and, Mayweather. And, and these kids, these kids, what I want, they look good. And, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it looks like some of the combinations are realistic. But they're missing the point. The point, I mean, point being is, when you see Roger Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather doing all this stuff, you have to understand Floyd Mayweather's done that from being a child. Mm. He's done. He's got used to its reaction coordination. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah. else. He's ingrained in his muscle memory. He's ingrained in his every memory he's got in his physical every body. Every blood vessel and lot. Every yeah. Right. He does it like Tyson Fury, isn't it? When he's on ropes, he has that yeah, left yeah. right, and then he goes, is it left right down, and then he turns, doesn't it? Yeah. It's sort of like that. Yeah, he yeah. does it. It's the same move. That he does every time, and I think going off subject here, that's how I think Vladimir worked him out, you know, towards the end of the yeah, fight. No, that's no, what no. I think. Do you know, we're going to ask Bob and Vladimir for that fight, Did and, you? And, and we're talking about Vladimir in a good sense. And yeah. I like Vladimir, after yeah. that. I respect Vladimir and the tall there, both yeah. of them. Mm. But what I tell you is, is they're very stuck in what they understand. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the academic accomplishments that he's got because yeah. I, I never got on with geeks at school, you know, because yeah. I'd see somebody being bullied and I'd go over, I'd go, yeah, go on, fuck off to, to bullies. Mm -hmm. And I'd say to a kid what being bullied, I'd go, yeah, come and sit with me, they won't bother you. And they'd go, no, uh, leave me alone. And I'd go, well, I'm trying to help you. They'd go, I don't want you help, stay away from me. So I'd end up going, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm trying to say to you is, I never really got on with those types of characters, and now I'm getting older and I'm getting more. Um, you I'm, understand? I'm a little bit more switched on. I understand. Is that what they like? It's Vladimir. because they only understand one way. I was, I went to spar with Vladimir for Tyson Fury fight. They were paying me uh, four grand a week mm -hmm. for that, so I'm gonna go over there. Um, yeah. So, we have a chief sparring partner for him. So yeah, I've got, anyway, I've gone over there. So uh, I've got in first day, and I'd, I'd gained a little bit of experience now. I know how to move. I know how to stay in, stay out of danger. I know how to get out with armor mark on me and this and that, and give a decent account of myself. So um, I've jumped into spot first day. So I'm just moving first spar. I'm just feeling him out, feeling him out, feeling. Can they what, Can he what? Yeah, he can punch. No, Both of them. No shadow of a doubt. Old puncher, bigger brother. The tallest oh. punchers are yeah. Um, and um, so anyway, uh, we're moving around this and that. So come to end at Spa, I think I did four rounds. And uh, I touched him up, I was happy with it. With the first Spa, I've got another six weeks left. So I thought, yeah. brilliant. So I've got out and 
Um, so I won't say his name because I don't want him to feel like I'm having a go at him. But uh, he said to me, when, yeah, Richard May went, do me a favour, man. He went, you know, when next time we spar, he goes, try, you know, like the Eastern European thing. So I was like, why? So he goes, because, you know, Tyson's tall, he's a little bit taller than you, and I understand what you're doing, and you keep it safe, and, you know, you're countering, and this and that. He went, but Tyson's not going to do that. And I didn't, and if I'm honest, I didn't want to stand there and go, yeah, but yes, this is what Tyson. I'm, I'm not there Tyson's for that reason. Tyson's going to mess you about, isn't he? That's his job, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not there. For, I'm not there for that reason to be trying to get Tyson beat. I'm not there for that. I'm there to get paid. It's as simple as that. I weren't getting any fights. I'm not getting paid. I need pain. I've not got a job. I don't sign on. My bo- my job was boxing, so I need a pay to get me four grand a week. I'm there for six weeks. No problem. So what I'm trying to say to you, Russ, is yeah. I've got into the first spot. So. The fellow said to me when he goes, just try and, you know, like a bit more Eastern European style, stand tall. And so I went, I went, nah, I went, send me home. So he goes, no, no, I'm just saying to you, man. He goes, you know, like, Vladimir's gonna, he's gonna be frustrated before he even gets started. So I'm like, I ain't taking shots for nobody. I ain't taking shots for nobody. I went, Brendan's told me that from day one, don't take shots for nobody. I went, so is that what you're asking me to, to stand there and, risk taking shots more than what I am doing. I'm not getting it. I'm touching him up. I'm, I'm winning the rounds. So I don't understand what you're saying. And he's like, no, no, I ain't saying that, man. I'm just saying to you, like, you know, try and mix it up, try and stand tall, try and, you know, box yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and let your shots go a little bit more. So I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll let my shots go a little bit more. I got him, um, not the next day, the day after that, and did the exact same thing, but hit him a few more comfortable times and, you know, troubled him a few times, Vladimir. Yeah. And they basically, the, the third spa, I turned up to gym to spa, always half an hour early, uh, turned up to turned up to spa, and um, Jonathan Banks goes, uh, yo, Richard, bro. So I goes, yes, Jonathan, how you doing? So he goes, uh, y- you're not sparring today, bro. So I was like, why not? Because I've come from England, man. I need to work. I need to get that work. I'm hopefully I'm going to be fighting some job, and I need to spar. So he goes, "Well, you'll have to spar with other sparring partners, which he goes because, like, um, uh, Vladimir's just said that he only wants to spar with certain people." So I'm like, and he said he don't want to spar with me. And Ross, I'm one of them. The, I'll, I'll voice what I'm thinking, you know, especially if money's on line or me, my house on don't line. Don't you get or, paid if you don't spar? No, nah, they were paid me. They paid me. They paid me four grand a week and I sat there for the for another five and a half weeks. They didn't get to spar. And they didn't and they didn't want to spar. You still got Tyson, paid. That, well, I still got paid. That was for Tyson Fury fight. Because what they do is that old like Lennox Lewis, Emmanuel told me that Lennox Lewis used to do it. Lennox Lewis used to employ every sparring partner that he could get hold of and he'd be paying them a mint. He'd yeah. be paying them nicely. Do you know why? So that nobody else could hire him. So that yeah. his opponent couldn't hire him. Do you get what I'm saying? So I understand that, but I'm sat there and I'm like, and none of the uh, professionals what were there, they didn't want to spar. So I was like, flipping neck, and I'm sat there and I'm thinking, why is this, what is this guy doing? I'm thinking it, I didn't say it, because like I said, I'm not there to see Tyson get beat. I'm, if I'm honest, I'm there, like I said, to get paid. I, don't, I didn't necessarily want anybody to get hurt. I, didn't, I never, most definitely didn't want Tyson to lose. It's not going to benefit me if Tyson, if uh, Vladimir wins. It's going to benefit me more if Tyson, Tyson wins for boxing at that time because I'm a professional boxer. But what I'm trying to say to you was cutting a long story short, yeah. he failed to prepare. Who failed to prepare Vladimir? Vladimir yeah. That's yeah. not taking nothing from Tyson. Tyson did but that can, did Tyson, Tyson got in the fight and did what he normally does. A, a lot poorer version than what I would do to Vladimir, if I must say. No disrespect to Tyson. <laughs> but did what he had to do yeah, yeah. and took the titles off the off the lineal heavyweight champion. He snatched that out of his hands. Sorry. Yeah. Like Vladimir said, took it like a thief in the night. Yeah. Right? Whether you take it like a thief in the night or you snatch it okay. off him and snap him, break him in half, he won nonetheless. And what I'm saying to you is, it's not taking anything away from Tyson because I think I think he's brilliant with what he's doing. I think he's brilliant where I've seen him come from. I think he's brilliant where I can see him going. He's in WWE now without going too deep into any yeah. subject. He's doing brilliant and I respect what he's doing. And I like Tyson, I, I get up with Tyson. But what I'm saying to you is, is 
Vladimir failed to prepare. He had me sat. I was the trickiest motherfucker in that in that ring, and he could not hit me. He didn't. He, his glove didn't even touch me once in in two spars. And what did he do? No, no, I don't want. Oh, that's too hard work. Put him on the side. Then what did he do when he got into fight? Struggled because he put hard work. So what I'm saying to you is, is every 